Once upon a time, Buddha was staying in a village. He had to address gathering of people of that village. On the first day, when Buddha came in the assembly, he stood there for some time, looked all around, and left from there without speaking any word. Many people had gathered to listen to Buddha in the assembly. People were very surprised to see such behavior of Gautam Buddha. But no one questioned Buddha. After some time, everyone left the meeting. The religious assembly was held again the next day. But the number of people in the meeting decreased significantly on the second day. The number of people decreased from 500 to only about 100. Buddha came to the assembly again, stood there, saw here and there, and left from there without speaking any word. People were again surprised to see this. But again, no one asked any question to Buddha. The next day, again, the religious assembly was held, and this time, the number of people decreased further. This time, there were only 50 people in the meeting. Again, Buddha came to the assembly, stood for few minutes, saw here and there, and again left from there without speaking any word. This time, some people got angry because people had come there after leaving their works. But no one asked any question to Buddha. The assembly was held again the next day and this time number of people had decreased further. This time there were only 30 people in the meeting. Again the Buddha came to the assembly, stood there for few minutes, saw here and there and left from there without saying anything. This time again some people got angry and some people started murmuring from behind the Buddha. But Buddha did not answer any of their questions and left from there. Next day again, assembly was held and number of people had again decreased considerably. This time, there were only 10 people in the assembly. Again Buddha came to the assembly, but this time, the Buddha took his seat and started preaching. Buddha gave knowledge of Dhamma to those ten people and those ten people became Buddha's disciples and later on they spread the knowledge of Dhamma in different directions of the world. One day someone asked Buddha, Lord, why did you leave the religious assembly every day without saying anything? Buddha said, My dear, I was looking for people who were really deserving. There were about 500 people on the first day and only 100 people were left on the second day. Most of the people came there just for fun. They did not come to listen to my sermon. But I was looking for people who really deserved my sermon. People who were really curious, who could assimilate and spread my knowledge to others. For many days, I went without speaking from the assembly because I wanted to select a few people from among those 500 people who deserved my sermon. Those people who really had a quest for knowledge and patience to wait. They stay till the end and those who did not have crave for knowledge and patience to wait they did not stop. If we see in our lives, we will find that those who have the curiosity to get something and the patience to wait, only those people can achieve something in their life. We all also have some goals in our life and desire to achieve something. But only those people reach their destination who has a patience for the journey to come to end. Those who do not have visions, they leave their journey in the middle of the way. But those who have a strong desire to reach their destination and patience to wait, those people 
definitely reach their destination i hope you understood the message well don't forget to drop a comment below thanks for watching stay blessed